Hello, this is Working Dad Trader, and this is part two of my videos to basically give an insight and hopefully help you guys to how I use technical analysis to help judge when best to enter a trade using the charts. Um, this is the second part. If you haven't seen the first part, then please pause now and go back and watch the first part and then come back to the second part. In this video, I'll be using two more technical analysis uh, techniques um, to help gauge when it's a good time to enter a stock. Um, so let's go in and check these out. Another indicator that I like to use are moving averages. Um, again, we're on trading view. Um, again, I'm just using Facebook as an example. Um, I generally like to go in, you go into indicators and strategies, find moving averages, and I generally use, like to use the 50 moving average, the 100 moving average, and the 150 moving average. And that is the av the average, the line, which is obviously the 50 is a red line, the yellow is, uh, the 100 is a yellow line, 150 is the blue line. So that just gives you the average over 50, uh, 50 days because we're on a daily chart and that's over 100 days and that would be over 150 days so it just gives you in where the average of the stock has been but it's also a good gauge to look at is it a good time to get into the market or not um, if we look at this chart as in quite a basic form in general um, we can see the red line is the 50 moving average and the stock of Facebook has bounced around along the 50 moving average. Um, it got away from the 50 moving average, way too far up above the 50 moving average and it slammed back down. Um, hitting the 100, finding support at the 100 moving average line and then pretty much getting back to normal, bouncing around the 50 moving average line. Um, here it did dip down below. Um, if we move it on a bit on the charts. And again, you could say here, as we're pretty much in present day now, um, the 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 lines have panned out nicely in like a fan upward momentum. So the 50 moving average is above the 100 moving average and the 100 moving average is above the 150, which is a really good bullish sign. Um, they're all up in uh, upward momentum, which at the minute would indicate that for the at least short to medium term, that Facebook is in an upward momentum. Um, again, it's sort of bounced around the 50 moving average is it a good time to buy Facebook if I was examining this stock I would say not quite yet because it's got too far away from the 50 moving average I would like it to maybe dip back down um, as the line goes up it could be around the 323 maybe 324 when it hits to 50 and then starts to go back up then that would be uh, a really good entry point to buy the stock so if we were looking here um, obviously you wouldn't buy up here because it's got way too far away from the 50 moving average wait till it comes back down to here it's got close to the 50 moving average so you would possibly buy around this area to go back up um, that candlestick is not a great candlestick to buy on so maybe you would wait a bit more and maybe like this one is a perfect it's sort of pretty much hit the 50 moving average and the next candle was a good strong green candle so you'd be buying here to go on the upward momentum up into the stock so it's just simple things like this that you would look at to say where can I enter this stock and try and get the best possible 
position you can do to give yourself the best possible chance of obviously making money. So in this example, I'm going to use an indicator called Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands was an uh, indicator designed by a guy called John Bollinger back in around the 1980s. And it's a really useful tool for knowing roughly where the stock is as far as is it close to, to being overbought or oversold and the volatility of the stock. Um, as you can see in the shaded area here in a type of green color that is the Bollinger Band that wiggles up through around the stock. Um, the upper Bollinger Band line is this one at the top. This would be the bottom of the Bollinger Band down here and there's like a moving average which is the middle roughly of the Bollinger Band which runs up through so how would we how would we use this to help us when looking at is it a good time to enter a stock? Um, if we use here as an example, if we were at this point in the stock's journey, um, and we thought this would be a good time to buy Facebook, well, this would tell us it it isn't a good time to buy Facebook because it's up hitting the very top of the Bollinger Band, and at some point. The Bollinger Band works as an elastic band, it will spring back um, and so sure enough it does. So if we bought here we'd in the short term have lost money because it would spring back down for its momentum back up again. Um, again if we bought up here it would be a bad time to buy because it's hitting the top of the Bollinger Band and we know that it's going to be like an elastic band and it's going to spring back up looking for roughly around the centre area um, so it just gives us a really good indicator to know whether it's a good time to enter the enter the stock or not um, if we look down here where it's hit the bottom of the Bollinger Band then this would be a good time to possibly get into the stock because um, we know it's hitting the bottom and we know it's going to short term bounce back up so if we bought down here then we know short term it's going to bounce and we could got a more reasonable chance of making some money um, especially in a short term trade but it's also useful to try and even if you're a long term investor of it's better to get the best possible chance of getting the most out of the stock really it's I mean you can never time it perfectly but these sort of indicators help. Uh, if we look at in the previous example I was talking about moving averages and I was saying it would possibly not be the best time just yet to buy Facebook if you were interested in buying Facebook because in my opinion it's got too far away from the 50 moving average and I'd like to see it, the stock get closer to the moving average of the 50 moving average before then getting into buying it. Um, and the Bollinger Band would also be a second confirmation. Um, as you can see, the stock has been up near the top of the Bollinger Band for quite a while, which could possibly indicate that it's going to make its way back down. So if the stock did get back down towards the 50 moving average, then I would expect him to see the Bollinger Band also move back down with it. So at the moment, I would say it's possibly the two combined together would possibly not be quite just right yet to buy the stock. And when you're looking at a stock, you really got to look at a lot of these indicators and tools to help you make a better decision than just blindly buying the stock. If you can get two, three, four of these indicators that are showing good signs of helping make your opinion of is it a good time to buy the stock and if you use them together um, it just gives you a lot better chance of making a success of your entry into the stock and making money okay thank you very much for watching I hope you're really getting some good stuff out of these videos um, and I'm being able to show you some really good technical analysis uh, tips and different 
tools you can use on different platforms to help you judge better when to enter a stock and got, give yourself the best possible chance of doing well from the stock. Okay, so I hope to see you soon.